Hello and welcome, I'm Aruba, thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Europa Universalis 4 Brandenburg campaign. So I was looking, this is kind of funny. So because we're occupying Friesland, um, somehow we had Brandenburgian peasants rise up in Friesland. So our peasants left our place, wandered over to Friesland and then rebelled there. Shouldn't they be Frieslander peasants? Wouldn't that make more sense? I don't know, it just seems kind of strange to me. Um, click, 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 click. Hey, look, more Brandenburgian peasants. <laughs> they will, our arrows will blot out the sky with Brandenburgian peasants everywhere. Clicky, clicky, click, 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 click. All right, well, Brandenburg, or Burgundy's doing a really good job sieging out all of Burgundy for us. I just need to keep moving one army around, clearing out the stacks before they can form up. And, uh, this looks pretty good. We got two leaders here. Um, got two armies that are roughly equal-ish. Let's see if we can maybe start to advance inland a bit. Thank you, Spain, by the way. If I if I tell Spain to siege this, maybe they'll advance that army again. Come on. Get out of there. Why are you just standing there? <coughs> it took Spain a long time to get up there, but they uh they they've worked out for us. They've even got their own character, the king, up here. Their king, who I believe is a 6-6... Six, six, no, he, he, he was a 6-6-6. Six, six, six. At one point, they had one. Yeah, that was this battle. We'll head over there now. And that's pretty much the whole army. So we're still suffering lots of attrition. Gaining manpower, actually. It'll be important that we have at least 25%, because we're going to get pretty damn overextended. 25% of 58,000 is like 15. We're going to need to stop suffering attrition, if at all possible. No siege. Yes siege. Yes siege. Um, this is the total number of troops. I think we'll combine the two smallest. Unfortunately, the leaders are not really where I want them. Hmm. Okay, you've got to get down there. And I think we need to blockade some of this as well. We still have some light ships out there, but... <clears throat> and this siege doesn't really help us much, but... We've already got progress on it. Tell you what, we'll detach and move to Smallland. I want to maintain it since we started it, but... <coughs> and of course, there's always looting. Can we loot their capital? We might as well, right? You've got siege value, so we'll put the non-leader army here. I want the siege value guy on Ostergotland. And we are blockading Ostergotland and Stockholm and Smallland. Excellent. We're not blockading Gotland. That's all right. These sieges should go pretty darn quick. I must say this war has turned out to be quite profitable. We have a lot of money in the bank. We're making stupendous amounts of money each month. Stupendous for this time of the game, I think. Our income is... Not the highest. Burgundy's making the most. Spain and Portugal are both really far up there. 
Seems like trade got buffed. Oh. Well, if they're going to take a crossing penalty. I don't want to break these sieges, though. Two, four. So two, six, eight, eleven. Yeah. You got to break the sieges. Our leaders are just not very good. We can't count on winning with inferior troops. But we throw enough money, enough men at it. Oh no, it's the uh, Protestant zealots that we're losing sieges to. We're we're like the leader of the Protestant faith here. And also, nothing's changed with the League Wars. We haven't had that fire yet. I don't know when that happens, but I want it to. Pretty soon. Alright, so some of these armies are getting kind of tiny. Let's take, um, you and split. We'll take... Okay, get rid of those two for now. Oh, interesting. So this thing scrolls down now. It's a scroll bar. Well, I want to... I want to combine some of these tiny armies. Tell you what, just all combine to him. So now we just have three. And then split it. Get rid of him, get rid of him, combine. That's better. We'll leave one of the larger ones here. And then have the other two go back to those two. Just start working on those. What do you want? Peace offer from Poland. No. You take Diplotech. Well, I do want to get caught up on this, so... Hey, there's our trade bonus. Nice. Our trade in our income's gonna go up so much. We've lost the siege of Friesland. Alright. We have Brandenburgian peasants fighting Protestant peasants. They're fighting over which one gets the the right to rebel. That is quite funny. Alright, any reason to continue the war with Poland? Should we just piece them out? Should we wait until this is done? Any risk that our allies are going to leave? Burgundy's going to leave soon, but that doesn't matter. When they leave, they'll just stop sieging stuff for us, but... We've already got control of their sieges, so... Thank you so much for... Actually, hold on. What am I talking about? Burgundy can't leave. We're in a personal union under Spain. So their their opinion of the war means nothing. It's all about Spain. Ooh, Spain is at medium. Spain's gonna leave soon. We're gonna be on our own. Yep, there it is. Spain just white pieced. Okay, I think now would be a good time to piece people out. I mean, they're... Poland's looking pretty unhappy right now. We have 58 war score against them. So for me to take these these things here, I do not have enough diplomatic power. Oh, this one's not taking from a rival, that's why. Okay, well next next month we can consider that. That's only 47 war score. We take that one as well. We take war reparations. Damn. Wizia. Actually, I'd probably prefer Kelmno, wouldn't I? Kelmno versus Wizia. Wizia's got better trade goods. I certainly don't want that one. Okay, so that would be the deal. It would cost us 28 over... Yeah, it's gonna piss everyone off. Even though we have a 48% reduction, sorry, 40% roughly, reduction to aggressive expansion from 
ideas and things, it's still a lot. Almost 100 over extension. So we could do that while we are still waiting on ending this war. I'm going to leave this army here, because they're probably going to come across that strait again. If they come from the north, I can react, but if they come across the strait, it's a little too quick for me. He suffer from Poland? No. Just lost our guy. I guess we take the level 1 guy. Just keep our income high. Sweden has just levied war taxes. Hmm. There's really no risk that anything's going to change down here, I think. We do have a claim on Oberlausism, something. But taking land in the HRE seems like a bad idea. Poland will be forced to give Muscovy 10% of their income. Sweden will cede Neva. Poland will cede Mamel. Poland will end the vassalization of Moldavia. Wow. They will also annul their treaties with Sweden. So Muscovy just gutted their march. They're no longer a march, they're an independent kingdom now. And Poland is most definitely going to lose control of their personal union over Lithuania the next time their heir, their ruler dies. He's only 45 though. My god, look at that ruler. It's a 544. I really just need these two. We can get out of this. So, let's grab the artillery and pump it all over to uh, this one. The Wargle. <clears throat> it's not even enough to really get very much. We need six artillery for that. We'll need one more. Plus, it'll need to reinforce. Okay, well, we just have to wait. We've waited this long. This war's been going on for how long now? It's hard to believe it's already 1548. It's been eight years. We gotta make it worthwhile. Our armies are under attack. Okay, these sieges don't matter. Peace offer from Poland. I don't really know if I want to pay for a level 3 guy right now, do I? Ah, what the hell. Let's get a disciplined guy. I had a feeling they'd try to cross that straight again. Somehow they only took a minus 1 pass penalty even though they crossed the straight. Did they come in from up here, maybe? They must have. Alright, let's just park everything here. Get all the artillery here. It's time to end this war. And we are at risk of taking the Peasants' War if I... If I end the war with low... Low manpower. And we're... Probably just gonna have to take that risk. It seems like a bad idea. It seems like a really bad idea. Wanna keep focusing on administrative? Oh, we got three artillery. Nowhere near enough men to actually assault. Let's, um... Let's just combine them all. We'll unappoint one of the leaders. And we'll park... the infantry and cavalry over here. I don't think Sweden's gonna bother us anymore. Okay, that drastically swings that one in our favor. Because they lost their ticking war score. Peace offer from Moldavia? Do we... I didn't... Yeah, that's right. They're independent now. We don't have any war score against them. We accept. Okay. Our peasants are going to take over East Fri uh, Friesland. Okay, I don't think I'm going to take very much. If it's possible, I'd like to stay under... 
under, uh, what is it, 25% or is it 40% overextension? This is two base stacks and three, so that's five. That's, uh, 20% overextension on its own. If we took Poznan, which is six, and Wizza, that's another eight. Eight times five is 40. So we'd be... Or, sorry, it's 4% overextension per base tax. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 20 is 50. Yeah, it's risky. We could we could potentially end up with a peasant's war. We gotta do it. Let's just let's just go big or go home. Okay, I think we're ready. Poland. Give me the things we discussed. Why did you change your mind? I want these things. What's what's changed? You're not you haven't gotten higher enthusiasm. I need these things. Hmm. No, nope, that one's not accidentally selected. That's very interesting that they've, uh... Oh, Polish military strength. They must have trained an actual army and now they feel like they're all strong again. Okay, well, <coughs> we don't need that. That's just more likely to cause the Peasants' War anyway, and we don't have a claim on it. Okay. Goodbye, Poland. And Sweden. Give me these two. Um... We can take all the- oh my god, we just have to. Apparently taking land from even Bohemia is cheap as hell. Alright, overextension... That's disconnected. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we get so much crap. Oh, jeez. Is releasing nations cheaper? Oh yeah, full influence is nuts. Uh, let's see. You know, I think that that's pretty good. I would have loved to have been able to humiliate them too, but... Give up claims in Denmark? No oh, weird. Alright, let's just do this. So, we're gonna be really overextended. We're at an 88. Now we're at 148. But we're at peace. So we can take the decision to form the Kingdom of Prussia. We're going to gain one base tax in Brandenburg. We're going to gain national unrest plus one. But we gain cores on all this stuff. So that's going to fix part of our overextension problem. Ready? There is only one king in the empire, the king of Bohemia. At the same time, our lands in Prussia are not a historic part of the empire. Let us declare ourselves king of Prussia to reflect our grander status and the other electors. We're now Prussia. Okay, overextension is now at 148. That doesn't seem right. Now it's not. Now it's at one at just 84. We get improved diplomatic reputation. We have saved the faithful. We've lost CBs. We've gained reconquest on Muscovy. And we are now at peace. Coalition. It's going to get big. We have actually quite a few provinces that are the wrong religion now. And so this is going to be very interesting to see just how... Uh, how likely this rebellion is going to be. These are some very high revolt risks. I think we're going to need to buy down some more exhaustion. Only 35 points. Let's do it a little bit. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.